Hello and welcome to Adventure Story Channel, my dear friends. Today we will see together the overhauling of last main bearing. And we will see also what is the difference between the main bearing and the last main bearing. So let's quickly start to see this demonstration first of all. As we can see, we remove some lubricating oil pipes that uh, located there and as you can see also we are located close to the chain exactly the same the same the same chain uh, I saw in the last vessel and we had also exactly the same engine was really really similar and also I will show you the image from that job the measuring of the chain so what we have additional we have uh, this pipe and also it is located here i was always thinking about how this main bearing was going out and also if you read only the book it's not so helpful in uh, many many times so today we will have together the opportunity to see this a video together so we will place also this hanger together and let's see if we will pull it up so this is the easy part and really really i like to see if we will use the bridge as before we had so i'm all all of interest about that now we will pick up our uh, main bearing with this kind of tile hanger as it is okay place it on a mattress the upper bearing Okay. And let's see exactly the same screw we had also on the main bearing. Let's see what differences we have later on. And also remove flywheel housing assembly bolts oh it's really really big it's opening like that so place the micrometer on the rack where it place it here okay steady there okay and it's different kind of lifting jack ah uh, yes yes yeah, okay it's different kind of and also we have the same procedure 0 0.20 millimeters lift but the only thing that we have here we have a different special tool to be applied and also all the other tools will be the same It is really really interesting now when you see these things and also my dear friends is a very very good practice from the old engineers also uh, to share the knowledge uh, for these things so new generations will be more and more improved let's see okay cushion wood so remove the main bearing lower bush main bearing lower bush hanger so very very nice and we will do that together so let's go here Let's make the disassembly and then the assembly procedure. Uh, 
I will try to make them uh, together and now as much as possible I will use my skills to overcome as much as possible all the difficulties and uh, all the necessary parts to solve this uh, this assembly so I will remove all the bolts here so for the reason to have space also it's very very important uh, when you're making overhauling some items to have also okay also here step error okay also here we need to take out some bolts uh, it's really really important that when you're making some overhaulings you will be able to see what it's necessary to remove or what not because many many times what is going on we are overhauling a lot of things and after that we see that it's what it was not really really necessary to remove even that thing and we make also double job for that items uh, these things okay you will not thinking when you are a very very young engineer and you don't care about how many uh, times you will get one thing or another but this really really will matters as the time will pass and you will have a more and more experience so let's pick up our uh, cover bearing cover let's remove it outside and i will go also outside from the engine to remove the hanger so by placing here and remove that one also the tools will be stored properly we will be able to use uh, our lifting tool so here we are our tool will be placed in position and now we can remove our bearing upper bearing so next step will be to remove our tool from here by using the spanner because there is some bolts which will be tightened there for the holding purposes and now we will go here back again and press this These screws also will be removed these bolts and now what we can do we can uh, select we can go here at the back on the flywheel one moment we will go to the flywheel here okay and we will dismantle all this cover so by removing this cover and place it uh, side to side I will place also the dial gauge in a steady position and also on our crankshaft next I will go down here on our flywheel and 
and I will place the jack. So our jack will be here. Exactly there. Okay, so with our jack, as we have placed our jack and increase the load on our jack with hydraulic pressure, we have 0 0.20 millimeters here, so our bearing. Uh, last main bearing will be lifted so what we will do we will remove our dial gauge because we need some space here to work and we will place our special tool for turning again our main bank so here we are okay a little bit on now we will place our special tool Oh, here we are and remove it outside okay Here is our tool coming and now we will take out our bearing and we will remove our tool by this spanner okay so here we are, we finish our disassembly and directly we will go for the assembly procedure. Let's go quickly. Okay, all the parts are outside. This tool, as we know, we place it for the proper guidance of our bearing, of our uh, lower bearing. And uh, one moment. Okay, we can select it from here and place it direct in our position, which will be one moment, which will be here, correct, from this side. Okay, immediately I will go outside here and I will place back the tool. This is the only thing that changed because now we have the experience from the previous main bearing also we know and all the tools will be more easy to identify and this is a very very important thing for third engineers for uh, the guys who will be also assist uh, on this kind of operations it will be really really easy thing to manage the tools and find them
and this is a very very good thing because it will be more easy and better for any kind of operation and overhaulings uh, all the guys will be as much as possible familiar of, of what's going on and what will be the next move and that things are really really important so now we remove the, our guide and we also can remove our special tool so let's remove it okay we need we will need to remove our tool please select the tool yes okay it's going out and now also we can tie it with uh, that locking screw so let's see flange bolt of lubricating pipe no this is not probably no this is the flywheel housing and the next step i believe yes it is for the lowering of a our shaft okay our tool will be removed okay we close everything and also my dear friends on the flywheel there is some sensor which also will need your uh, attention for cleanliness and the proper clearance also which must be measured by filler gauges and now we can screw down the screws here okay let's see which one is going there oh no this for the lubricating so uh, so we will go here which is no lubricating pipe so we will go here these are screws and i will select the screwdriver set there and fix uh, in the position our lower bearing so by fixing our lower bearing there the next step we will bring our next part of our bearing Okay, it's here so I will press on it and I will select the appropriate tool for lifting and place it inside the engine really really nice to see all the parts and all these details it's really really amazing okay remove that one and now i can place the cover the cap from the top of the bearing but first of all what i will need to do i will place this bearing cap lifting tool all these parts are really really heavy my dear friends and really working with heavy equipment uh, it's really really tricky because you need to be careful really and do not hurry so next we will tight uh, our hydraulics one moment i will go okay here everything is fine let's see what else remains here nothing remains here so something uh, we will need to be then later on ah here okay we have our nuts 
Okay, for sure, as we know, for here we need uh, our hydraulic tools to set them on. And now also I will set up the piping in the position. After that, I will tighten that one here. Okay, on the bottom. Okay, now what remains, remains also these bolts. Okay, they are going here. And also remains these kind of bolts, which are going here, yes, correct. So here we are, then going this small angle pipe, okay, fitting there, selecting the tool, fitting back, and then we have these screws. Okay. Select the tool and the last part is this one. So also the tightening of the pipes must be as much as possible appropriate. As we see here, it's really, really good because you do not uh, make any tension on the pipe and they will sit as much as possible uh, properly. Thank you, my dear friends, that you have seen this video. Hopefully, you will join also to see the next videos of, of uh, thrust bearing, of axial damper and more. So I await you there in that videos and we will continue to do that together with you. Thank you again that you have subscribed to the channel and also your thumbs are always on the top. Thank you again and see you in the next video. Bye bye dear friends.